Hello and welcome to Douala in Cameroon. And I tell you, if Gabon and Equatorial Guinea were a gentle, gentle entry to Africa or West Africa, there's no doubt you're in Africa with the hustle and bustle of Douala in Cameroon. And this is Lobe Falls in Cameroon. So here at the Lobby Falls, I'm going to say welcome to Cameroon. And now I'm going to sound a little bit like a broken record. Cameroon, what to say? Well, it was inhabited for thousands of years by Bantu-based peoples and different tribes and groups. It was then colonised by the Europeans during the scramble for Africa, a mixture of the Germans, the French and the British. The Germans lost their territory, was handed to the French and to the British, Cameroon got its independence, and then it's been ruled basically by one person ever since the current ruler of Cameroon, depending on how you count it, is either the longest or the second longest non-royal head of government slash head of state in the world. He spent his first couple of years as Prime Minister and then moved across to being President. If you count the Prime Minister time, he's longer than Equatorial Guinea. If you don't count the Prime Minister time, then Equatorial Guinea is longer than him. Now, if you compare the Lobi waterfalls here with the ones in Equatorial Guinea, there's two things that come across as I think the ones in Equatorial Guinea are far more impressive. But secondly, there's a lot more tourism here. But most of the tourists are locals. That, I think, is a really good thing. Just to prove that I don't always fly, I'm going to take the train. So because Cameroon has both British and French heritage, there are parts of Cameroon that are English-speaking and parts of Cameroon that are French-speaking, and hence it's a genuinely, well, at least a bilingual country if you're counting the European languages absolutely multilingual if you're counting indigenous languages which of course you should because that's the lingua franca of most of the people here and i find here in cameroon like in many parts of africa when you say to people how many languages do you speak they'll say one or two thinking you're referring to the european languages then you ask them about local languages and they go oh here's another six i'm always stunned and amazed at the capacity of people in africa to speak language it's unbelievable and this is Noa village in Yaoundé, the capital of Cameroon. Now, uh, Noa village is set up by Yannick Noah, the French tennis player slash musician. Yannick is half Cameroonian, half French. He's actually a really good bloke and allowed me to crash with him for a couple of months when I first moved to Geneva. What he's trying to do here is give back to Cameroon, hit the land of his birth. And he's created some really good facilities here and encourages youth to get involved in sports and activities of all sorts kind of like it good idea giving back so when you look at these parts of Cameroon you can see that Cameroon actually has a lot of geographic diversity a lot of very pretty places and I suppose overlooking a beautiful place in Cameroon but I'm cheating because I'm standing in Chad looking over an international border having left Cameroon I suppose this is where I should say goodbye from Cameroon